This isn't going to work well. <laughs> it's fun. In this very special episode of It's My Railroad, the regular guy makes a startling confession. By the time I've done it, it may just be a big pile of poo sitting on my railroad. But train's coming through it. Hey, welcome to my hobby room and to the Brown Smith Railroad. We are right in the middle of the Fertile Valley project build. Now, here's the deal. I actually started this project a couple of months ago, and then I got sidetracked. I went and did some other things, but now we are back on track. We're going to drive this train all the way to the station, pun intended. If you missed any of those previous videos, make sure you click the card above my head to find that playlist, or actually go down in the description. You'll find it there too, and you can get all caught up. But you know, enough monologuing. I've got so much I want to show you. I say it's just time to get busy. Okay, so let's get started on these mountains. Uh, but before we do a little disclaimer, um, the reason these mountains aren't already done is because I have no idea how to do this right now. Uh, I'm being as honest with you as I can be. I'm a little nervous about doing this in front of a live studio audience right now because I have this tunnel portal in the back at one elevation. I have this tunnel portal more towards the middle at a different elevation. I've got the ascension. I've got the descension. They're close together. And then I've got a curved backdrop. Um, I've been staring at this thing for, I don't know, months. And I still haven't quite figured out how I'm going to pull all this off. So I'm going to use what I'm going to call the regular guy method. And that is I'm just going to jump in somewhere and start hacking up styrofoam and gluing it down or pinning it down or whatever I'm gonna do and see how this turns out. But uh, I'm warning you, you're probably gonna see me do a few oh craps here and there, okay? We're gonna take some stuff out and put it in and move it around. I don't know another way to uh, achieve what I see in my head out here on the layout. So to get started, why don't you just move in a little closer and let me show you where I think I'm gonna jump into this thing. Okay, for starters, uh, when I built the concrete tunnel portal, it's got this wing wall that comes right down here. And it's got this thing here that, uh, where does it go? I don't even know where it goes right now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this right there, just at a steep angle up to there. That's what I'm gonna start with, but I have to keep in mind, I have to transition over to whatever the heck's gonna be over here at some point. But for now, I think I wanna get rid of that. To do that, I'm going to use this. This is a hot wire knife that was given to me by one of our subscribers whose name is Anthony, just because he felt sorry for me because I use the white styrofoam and I uh, hack it up all the time and it just gets snow everywhere. But I've never used this before, but my understanding is it's, it's hot right now. I can feel that it's hot. So my understanding is I should be able to get it in here and just do this through the styrofoam. Wow, that's actually getting her done. All right, let's just stop there for now. Look at that. My first attempt with a hot wire knife and uh, I cut something. That's amazing. Uh, I have no idea what this looks like right now, but there you go. <laughs> so moving a little further back up there, see if we can come down. A little bit closer to the tunnel portal itself. Well, it works right up until you get to the caulking you use to hold it in there. Um, I'm going to go reverse angle here, and it's probably going to kill your view a little bit, and I apologize in advance. All right, I would say the hot wire knife was a success the first time through. And this is what I came up with. Uh, we're off and running now, people. Let's do what's next. And what's next 
is this. I've got all these random shapes of styrofoam here. White styrofoam. Sorry, people. This is the direction I decided to go. I've got some big sheets of it around here somewhere, too. But I'm just going to start um, hacking these up and sticking them in. I don't know how it's going to look. But uh, I invite you to join me on the journey. It's going to be fun. Well, that random shape almost works. Kind of, I think. I think if I uh, nip a little bit off here and a little bit off there, we might be able to pull this sucker off. That might look pretty good. Now, I know there's a gap over there. I'm wondering if that piece got stuck down and we sort of filled in the gaps. Maybe ultimately put another piece kind of here. Something like that. Well, that's just falling right in there. Oh, look at that. Hey, tectonic plates. Boy, you know what? I'm looking in the viewfinder right now. You really can't tell what that looks like. <laughs> and over here, something like that, I think. Let's lop a little bit of it off, though. Put that here. Maybe a smaller one will get in there and then we'll sort of carve all that up to blend into where the orchard's gonna go, although we don't wanna screw our orchard up. Maybe just moving back like that. Okay, so that was plan A, and plan A was a loser. So I gotta come up with a plan B to do this deal. Um, so I think I've come up with something. We're gonna see if plan B works, and hopefully we don't need a plan C. Let's get on it. So here we are with uh, the proposed plan B. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some strips of this pink stuff and glue it in, but lower, lower, lower and see if I can sort of build that out a little ways, um, see how that looks. So to do that, we'll just uh, take and we're gonna score, right like this. Snap that and sort of set it in back here. For now, we'll say like that. And then another piece we'll put in kind of there and just keep going like that for a while. Let's see what happens. Cut this down to size. Okay, so from the God, I hope this works department, uh, this is plan B back here. I've cut out all these little pieces and sort of set them in there. I haven't glued anything in yet, but uh, oh, I don't know, guys. Um, I think I'll go through and, and make some more little pieces back in there, set them all into position, and then we're gonna get some construction adhesive out, glue it together, let it set up. I think what I can do is get into carving some of this once I've got some bulk, some mass to carve into. But uh, other than that, man, plan B is, uh, is a little iffy, but I'm getting ready to commit to it. So uh, if you give me just a minute, uh, just a minute. If you give me like another two hours, I'm gonna go through and cut all this and stick it up in there. And then I'll give you an overview of it and then we'll glue it in. Well, real fans, there's plan B. Such as it is. I've got white styrofoam. I've got pink styrofoam. I decided to just put all this in, make a mass of styrofoam that I can come back and carve into some uh, mountainous looking thing. I'm not exactly certain what's going to turn out looking like. My concern is, and why I'm laughing about it, is by the time I've done it, it may just be a big pile of poo sitting on my railroad with trains coming through it. So... I don't know. Let me get the construction adhesive out. Go ahead, glue it together, stick it up there, let it dry, and we'll come back and carve it up.
And welcome back to the hobby room. It's the next day and everything's had a chance to uh, sort of dry up back there. And uh, the reason I'm waving my hand right now is it's like nine o'clock in the morning. It's so hot in here. I don't even know what to do with myself. Little sidebar for you. Uh, yesterday I was working on the back of the layout and I had the garage door rolled up so I could work on the track and the sun was shining directly on the track and I looked over and my track went like this. <laughs> Apparently you don't want to let sunshine directly on your track because it just warps the crap out of it. After I closed the garage door, um, it all straightened itself back out. So even in warm conditions, it's okay, but not direct sunlight. Anyway, let's move forward. What I'm going to do now is go through and use a hot wire knife that I got from Anthony, one of our subscribers, and I'm going to start shaping that up. I'm also going to use my old friends, the razor saw. I like to call it the hobby saw and my exacto knife. Now here's uh, the deal guys. <laughs> uh, there's not gonna be a whole lot of chit chat happening while I'm doing this because frankly, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm, I don't have a plan. Other than to say, I'm going to get in there, take out the tunnel portals, and just start shaping all of this to a rough shape. Now, I'm pretty sure when I'm done, I'll need to add some styrofoam here and there. Um, and then we're going to sculpt the mold, the whole thing, to tie it all together. I'm pretty confident it's going to look good when we're done. But until then, uh, just hang out, enjoy the music, and watch me carve this sucker up like a Thanksgiving turkey. Well, hey, it's snowing in the hobby room. Um, hey, this is why a lot of people don't like using the white stuff, okay? Look at this mess right here. But I gotta tell you something, I really prefer working with it over the pink. Uh, if you can get past the mess, it's a way to go. It cuts easier, it makes this granular thing when you scrape over it. Um, again, for something that's more structural, uh, I think I would use the pink stuff because it's really solid. And uh, a hot knife takes forever to cut through it, by the way. But the uh, white stuff, boom, clean up the mess and you're good to go, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to clean this mess up. 
uh, give you a tour of what I did, and then I'm gonna show you a technique I'm gonna use to add a little variation in the hillside. So let's get the vacuum out and get to work. Okay, so as the temperature in the hobby room continues to go up, whoo, we're having some fun out here today, but this is what happens in a regular guy hobby room, in my humble opinion. Uh, hopefully that mountain we just put in back there is gonna look good and we sculpt the mold it and uh, not just like a big blob uh, on the back of the layout, but we'll see when we get there, crossing fingers. Next phase of the operation is I wanna sort of tie this together. I want to have it look like this sort of a rolling hill comes all the way down to this piece I have here where they cut the road through it for uh, road traffic. So I've already got this piece glued in here. Previously, way long time ago, we glued this one in. So I'm going to use the pink stuff again. I know it's heresy for me, but here's the thing. I haven't found that I've had luck hot gluing white styrofoam. I think it just gets, it's so hot it just melts the styrofoam. It doesn't do anything, but this pink foam board is more dense and I've had great success uh, using hot glue to put it in place. So I, I wanna kinda move this along. So I wanna hot glue these pieces in up here, hot glue it to the front. Uh, not certain what's gonna happen when I get to the white styrofoam, we'll figure it out. And then I'll shape all that and see if we can't sort of blend that in. Well, there you go, rail fans. That is 16 hours worth of gluing and carving and cutting styrofoam. Yep, 16 hours. I didn't think you wanted to see a 16 hour video, so I truncated it down for you. But I gotta tell you, come the end of the day, watching the trains go through there, um, I'm kind of getting lost in here, just watching my trains run uh, again. I, I gotta get back to work at some point because I wanna bring some quality video to you guys. Next time we're together, we're gonna probably see me sculpt the mold this thing. I'm gonna make a change back here, I think, while we're gone. This rolling hill thing looks more like a speed bump in the middle of uh, the mountains. <laughs> That's not gonna work. And I'm almost wondering if I wanna bring some kind of a finger off that mountain down there, something to help add to the effect. I don't know, you'll probably see some changes next time around. But anyway, thanks for being with me this time around. I sure hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in my hobby room. I enjoyed having you be a part of the show. And until next time, my name is Steve Brown. Rail on, my friends.